Hello everyone. Welcome back to my knowledge share session. Learn with me. Today session we are going to look at a very important real time scenario in SAP cloud integration. Okay. In most of real time integrations, we work with multiple business partners or we connect to multiple systems at different situations. Right. Each time we connect to that uh, partners or uh, say systems, we create a high flow and we repeat the connection parameters in every integration flow. So the question is now, how do we dynamically handle these partner specific connection differences without building a separate high flow for each one? Okay, so that is where the today's topic comes in dynamic harmonization of a partners or <clears throat> dynamic harmonization of partner system connections using a partner directory so the today topic is we are going to say about the partner directory in the iflow how we are going to implement it okay so what is a partner directory a partner directory is like a phone book or a telephone directory where we find the phone numbers using a contact name as a key similarly in the cloud integration scenario we connect with multiple systems and partners right to get that uh, to get the respective connection parameters or any other required parameters for that partner we look we need a lookup kind of a process where a directory is maintained and we store all these relevant information inside that and we identify them by a partner key right hence uh, this helps us to maintain these parameters at one place and addition or deletion or you can say the maintenance of these parameters are made easy you need not to repeat the same information in each iflow you prefer for or okay and any change in these parameters say if you are going to change the credentials or if you are going to change the ip address or something like that uh, so any change in these parameters you need not to touch the iflow which you have prepared you can change only at the the directory information only okay now you can see the picture which i am showing now look at the picture as an example if you if you start from the left side uh, you receive a some kind of uh, xml or a json files in this case let us say a pos you are going to receive some pos from a multiple sources and it is connected to a endpoint iflow endpoint so <clears throat> the each PO contain a vendor ID assume that okay now in the iflow you are going to send it send these I, I, uh, POs to your respective vendors uh, based on the vendor ID specified in the PO okay so that is a groovy script uh, which will read the uh, vendor specific details like I uh, what is the URL this URL for their vendor system what are the correct credentials to connect to their systems from the partner directory okay and these information are put it in the parameters header parameters or exchange parameters the next point the there is a request reply which will connect to that vendor system based on the parameters you read it okay this is how the partner directory uh, will be implemented in the iflow now you can visualize your own uh, situations or your own business requirements to centralize these parameters in a parameter directory partner directory okay that's it now uh, in today's session uh, i will create a similar business scenario a, a small business scenario which is similar to the partner directory functionality i will explain first this in a very simple way uh, but putting everything under the high flow and show you how it is working then we will improve, improvise this uh, high flow by using a partner directory okay now let us go into a small business scenario uh, requirement then we'll directly go to the high flow in most of our real-time integration scenarios we work with multiple business partners who send their uh, data in their own json format or any xml format okay uh, but our uh, target system uh, or a backend system expects a consistent standard structure so the question is how do we uh, dynamically handle this uh, partner specific uh, differences without building a, a separate high flow for each one of them okay this is the example we are going to say it now so uh, we will explore how do you use the partner directory 
and the dynamic configuration to normalize or harmonize the incoming messages, uh, no matter uh, in what format partner is sending. Okay, so a simple scenario which uh, multiple partners with a different format, a standard unified JSON message that maps it, and a Groovy script to uh, do this uh, normalization. Okay, so now now let us go into the example now. Okay. Now we will see, I will explain once again the requirement. So you can see that uh, it's are right now. So uh, we have two partners. They are going to send us some order details. Okay. The partner A is going to send order detail like this. Uh, customer, they put a variable called customer. And for the amount, they put amount. For the currency code, they call it as currency underscore code. And the line item they put it as a order lines instead of the material and quantity. So the data element names are something different, but the structure is same. For the partner B, uh, it is it is going to the same data, but the the data element names are different. For the customer, they are going to call it as a cost ID. Amount they are going to call it as order underscore amount. Uh, currency code they are call it as C O R R. And order line they are call it as a lines and material they call it as a mat code and quantity they have divided as a q to y so I, gave, I take two examples uh, partner a and partner b like that you may have multiple things okay this is the source format in the target system you want to have this structure you want a customer id amount will be called as total amount currency will be called as currency and the line item will be called as items material will be called as a material code and uh, Quantity will be called as quantity. Okay, that this is the requirement. Okay, now there 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 you need some mapping structure, right? Uh, where, when the customer is when the partner is a specific customer, what does it mean? When they say amount mean, what does it mean? How it is mapped to this uh, A to A and B to B like that? So there we will create one mapping structure. This is the mapping structure will tell you uh, based on which partner is going to send data. So accordingly, we will fetch this mapping details and put get the appropriate field names so that it will be matched to the target system. So you can see that, right? If a partner A, when they say customer, that means in mapping system is customer ID. Sorry, in the target system is customer ID. In the partner A says it is amount. In the target system, it is a total amount like that. So, a mapping uh, a structure will be created for us. So, tomorrow, if a new uh, new partner comes in, so we will just adjust this mapping structure only, right? So, now I am going to use this mapping structure inside the iFlow, and I am going to send any one of this uh, data, and I am going to re receive this output. Okay, that I am going to show it in the iFlow. So as I told you in the future video, I am going to move this to a partner directory and fetch it accordingly. Right now, this iFlow is very straightforward. I am going to use everything inside the iFlow only. Okay. Okay. Now I am inside the iFlow. I directly I already created an iFlow so that you can see that it is a very simple iFlow which has a sender and receiver. Receiver is not connected now. I have a sender. Sender is connected with a HTTPS adapter, uh, which I call it, which I, which I referred as a slash pm1, which I will be calling it from uh, Postman if required. Right? In the content modifier, in the content modifier, I am going to, where is my content modifier? Yeah, in the content modifier, in the property section, I created one uh, property called mapping config and I stored this mapping config which I showed you here. This configuration, I stored it as a, a value here. So inside the iFlow, I am going to use this property name to get the mapping structure. Okay, that's it. And while sending the while sending the while calling this iFlow, I am going to pass a header parameter which will specify the partner key. 
whether I will send a partner A or partner B. You see, based on that key, it will fetch the mapping structure and arrive the target value. That's what my, we are going to do it. Okay. So now you are clear with the content modifier, right? Content modifier is having only the mapping structure here. So in the future video, uh, next video, I am going to move this item to a partner directory and inside the Groovy script, I will do some uh, tweakings. Okay. Now let us come to the Groovy script part. Okay. If I open the Groovy script, you can see the details. So the Groovy script, I will put it in the description. Uh, so you have appropriate import statements. So this body will receive the uh, whatever you are sending as a uh, input is this one. This it will read. Okay. Then from the header, I am going to get the key which is, which is a partner ID. I am going to send it, which is whether I am going to partner A is sending or partner B is sending. Then then I am going to read from the header, the content modifier, the parameter. I am going to read this mapping configuration string in that. Okay. So the whole uh, JSON file will come there. From there, I am going to set the, I am going to get the, uh, what you call, the specific partner ID, right? Based on the specific partner ID. Sorry, that is, that is in the next step. So you will get the uh, the configuration structure in this place. Parse next. Sorry, I repeat it. So from the header parameter, you will get the uh, property. Using the property, I am going to uh, get the that specific JSON format. Right? This format will be read. This format will be read. Then there is a map actual template so that will read from the mapping configuration by passing the the key item which i received read, read from there right partner id key so based on that this partner mapping field will will either store this one or that one okay that's it this is uh, this is the exception class so now i will call it as a colonical that means a, a your final template so this will this will read that uh, the final structure right customer id total amount currency item that is what my final structure right that final structure i am preparing it here so it will read from the appropriate mapping field so source json will have the uh, whatever i read from the body using the pattern mapping that customer id so that value will be stored here same way currency and items right then for items uh, it will read these are the pure uh, uh, groovy statements so from the mapping field uh, using the groovy statement we are reading the individual items and prepare the final output so final output will be prepared under the name called colonial colonical and this colonical items this will prepare it got it right hope this uh, groovy statement you are understanding that so this is the main place uh, we are reading fr from the mapping id and store it in a variable and prepare the json finally the json builder will use this final output and prepare the message that's it this is what it is going to do it now right the groovy script is main uh, main part here uh, in the next video uh, instead of uh, I will show close it now. In the in next part, I am going to uh, remove this content modifier. I will mo move this item to a partner directory, and inside the Groovy script, instead of reading from uh, header, this place right. I will be reading it from the partner directory. That is the only thing we are going to do in the next video. Okay. What I will do is now I will execute this and 
show you the result. Okay, now we will execute it now. Uh, I will simulate it. So I will start simulation. In simulation, in the starting, what I am going to do is first I am going to send the header parameter, right? Header parameter, what I will copy it from. This is the ID which I used in Groovy. So here I will add partner ID and the value will be partner A. Okay, in the body which I am going to send. Since I use partner A, then I will use this template. I will send it. Now okay. Okay, now we will simulate. It is successfully completed. So let us go one by one. So mini F5 initially I am sending this value. After content modifier, there is no change because only the header will remain. Body is the same. Whatever I am sending it, right? Whatever I am sending it. So after Groovy script, it will be converted to the final final structure. So in the body. The structure is changed. Correct. Right. And the materials. So you are sending something different, but it is uh, uh, based on the mapping, it converted it. Assume that uh, suppose you are sending the same thing, but uh, you are sending a wrong ID. Right. Oh, no, I should not do this. I will go here. I am sending a actual custom A format but I am sending a key as customer B so you can it's a kind of uh, reverse testing so if I say ok now if I execute it the final will be will not be correct because you will get null values successfully completed let us see the final structure now so if you see the final structure everything is null see the variables are converted accordingly but it is not mapped it correctly right the configuration says you are sending b but it will be looking for a, that particular this fields it look for these fields but it will be it is like this so it will not match so you will get a final output as null right now you got it so uh, you can you can check it i will put the groovy script here you can verify with your own format Accordingly, you change your Groovy script and do that. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, uh, this is the, the test type flow uh, which which is simulating the partner directory. So in my next video, what I'm going to do is I will remove this content modifier and I'm going to read it from a partner directory and uh, and in the Groovy script in the Groovy script instead of reading from the header here. Instead of reading from the header, I am going to read it from the partner directory. Okay, the partner directory will be maintained in this monitor section, which I will explain to you in the next video. Okay, uh, let me go to this one. Okay, uh, hope this session is uh, helpful to you. Uh, you can get an idea of what is a partner directory. Uh, and please put your comments, put your questions and remarks. I will be very happy to uh, update you back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much.